Uh, hello everybody, uh, variance of annual cycles calculated with time and solution. Uh, you see, um, recently one user asked me about how to calculate uh, actually very specific annual cycle. And so I decided to record video uh, how to calculate different annual cycles with time and solution. Because uh, at we can calculate a at least uh, eight variants of annual cycles. Uh, so uh, let's do that. I separated um, annual cycles in um, uh, two groups. The first group, this is annual cycles that uh, are based on a calendar, different calendar. Uh, the best known, uh, this is obviously our calendar. Our calendar, this is a Georgian calendar. It has been invented in uh, 5082. And uh, this calendar, it's actually, it's very close to uh, solar annual cycle. This is a... Uh, uh, an old cycle that is based on a sun, well, uh, sun movement through different signs of zodiac. This zodiac, um, this um, calendar, uh, an old cycles are very close because you see, uh, Georgian calendar it has been developed to minimize to minimize discrepancy between astronomical phenomena and calendar. I mean astronomical phenomena like uh, um, uh, uh, spring or uh, fall. Um, equinox or uh, winter or summer solstice. Uh, so this Georgian calendar that minimizes this discrepancy, and this is why the difference between a uh, Georgian calendar and solar um, calendar it's uh, very small. I will show you this difference. Uh, also, we can use some other calendars like a Jewish calendar or Chinese calendars. Uh, calendar. I will show you how, calculate, how to calculate annual cycles based on all these calendars. Another group of um, uh, astronomical cycles, uh, they are based on a planetary combination. For example, we can calculate uh, uh, midpoints between Sun and Mercury and use this midpoint uh, to calculate annual cycles. Uh, why? Uh, you see, I will show you uh, ephemeris. Ephemeris. Uh, this ephemeris uh, it uh, includes involves includes uh, 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 this is red. This is uh, sun. You see straight line. This sun movement. This azure line. This is Mercury. You see Mercury. Uh, you see Mercury moves not for from sun. Uh, their max um, uh, angle separation between uh, Mercury and Sun it's about uh, um, 24 degrees. Uh, they call it uh, elongation. Mercury elongation is about 25 degrees, something about that. It, it changes. <coughs> also, uh, this is a red, uh, green line. This is ephemeris for Venus. You see, Venus also moves uh, not far from um, Sun. And uh, elongation for uh, Venus about uh, 40, 45 degrees. Yeah. Uh, why it move, they move? Uh, but other planets like Mars, uh, uh, Jupiter, they move so totally separately. It's uh, they not uh, uh, related with Sun position. Only for uh, Venus and uh, Venus and uh, Mercury. Why? Uh, this is because you see if, if um, this is uh, kind of our solar system and because uh, Mercury, Hades and Venus, they are located between Earth and um, uh, our Sun. And this is why ephemeris uh, for them, it's always close to Sun. For example, if we will calculate a, a mars centric position, uh, uh, like a position for ephemeris for Earth, uh, Venus, uh, Venus and uh, Mercury from the um, from Mars, uh, all these uh, planets uh, would uh, will move around Sun. Okay, uh, so uh, so uh, we can calculate midpoint between uh, Sun and Mercury. It it will move uh, not far from Sun. And to use this point uh, to calculate uh, another annual cycle. The same story with um, Sun Venus uh, midpoint. We can calculate midpoint, midpoint between Sun and Venus and do the same. 
also Mercury Venus midpoint and uh, Mercury geocentric position and Venus geocentric position. We can use uh, these planets to calculate uh, annual cycles as well. Uh, so you see. Uh, totally we have uh, uh, eight different uh, annual cycles, uh, three based on a different calendar and uh, five based on different planetary positions. Okay, now I run time solution and uh, I run now uh, this extended version, a version that uh, allows to build uh, customized options. Okay, I run it. And now I will be, I will uh, create uh, three customized objects. Uh, the first object, just sec, um, just sec. In option, I open uh, customize objects, and you see there is special item here, the special tab here, customize cycle. Uh, I will remove all this customize cycles uh, and click this button, and there are um, uh, s uh, several. Uh, different um, uh, cycles. Uh, let's first choose, um, okay, uh, Georgian Western Hour New Year, this customized cycle that uh, represents uh, Georgian year. Okay. Uh, let's, okay, well, let's a bit G E O. Okay. This is named for Georgian um, calendar. Next item I will open, um, let's be. Um, uh, Chinese New Year. Okay, Chinese. And the same uh, story Jewish. So uh, now I have uh, three uh, customized objects. Now I will show you something. How how um, uh, what inside? Okay. Uh, in Time and Solution uh, Fundamentals uh, folder, I open uh, these files. Uh, this is file for Georgian, uh, Georgian New Year's. It shows, simply shows you um, the New Year's, uh, January 1st. So only January 1st. And uh, you see a customized cycle. This is a kind of uh, artificial more planets that makes uh, 300 degrees, uh, 300 degrees. 360 degrees, the uh, full cycle uh, between uh, from one new year to another new year. And uh, the same story, I open another uh, file with uh, Chinese new year. It's here, it shows here, it simply show uh, points the Chinese for all years. And so our uh, planets, planet, uh, artificial planets, it uh, simply makes uh, 360 degrees from one new year, Chinese new year, to another new year. And so we can use these planets planet, uh, as a tool to calculate annual cycles based on uh, Chinese or any uh, other calendar. Okay, uh, let's, uh, so we have created uh, two, uh, three, sorry, customized uh, objects for uh, Georgian calendar, Chinese calendar, and uh, Jewish calendar. Okay, I close it now, and now I will download uh, from um, through Time Solution Data Fit, the longest available uh, data set. Uh, this is DAO uh, from very beginning, and we will conduct all this an analysis for uh, DAO. Okay, I have download DAO, and now I click calculate. Uh, the program I ask uh, would you like to use customized object? Ye objects? Yes, we will use customized objects uh, in our analysis and let's wait a bit. Uh, calculation is done. Let's display only uh, last uh, price history. Here it is. Um, let's calculate firstly um, a solar based annual cycle. Just click astronomy button and uh, solar cycle, annual cycle, it will be by default. You see sun, sun, this is um, annual cycle based on sun position. Uh, let's display it together with price chart. Clicking this button, and you see, look at this, how it with this cycle works. And you see, it's an interesting story that this cycle actually very stable. I show you something. Let's, I will uh, hide it. And let's, I will set LBC somewhere, no, let's say 20, 20, 20, 20 something. So I set LBC to 2020. So uh, the program 
uh, to calculate this annual cycle, we, uh, the program will use price history only before uh, 1920, sorry, 1920. So uh, this price history after 1920 uh, will not use. And you see, look at this, the price, uh, the annual cycle is still working. Yeah, you see? It's just show. You see, to calculate this uh, uh, annual cycles, we use the price history uh, for Dow Jones more than 100 years ago. But this cycle still works. Actually, this very stable cycle. Okay, let's settle, settle BC2 last price bar. So now to calculate this annual cycle, the program will use all available price history. And let's calculate another cycle uh, based on a simple calendar, on a Georgian calendar. Uh, I will run one more astronomy button. And you see, you need to choose here option for object um, this uh, Georgian calendar. Georgian cycle. Here it is. Geo. Geo, sorry. Geo, geo. It means uh, it uh, geo, geo. It means that uh, this is um, calendar based on Georgian cycle. And uh, let's display it together with uh, um, price chart. And uh, let's change the color. Set it to um, red. So a calendar based uh, annual cycle based on uh, Georgian calendar will be red. You see, they're pretty close, pretty close to astronomical cycle. You see, there is a very, very small discrepancy. Okay, uh, how to verify uh, that uh, this cycle, that this annual cycle works or does not work for your financial data? Uh, standard approach run Wolf World Analysis, WFA. Uh, we can increase sample size here, let's set it 50. So, wait a bit. Okay, uh, this is work for that analysis, it shows how this cycle works uh, sample size 50, uh, la last 50 years. Uh, work forward efficiency not big, but still 27 years it was up and uh, 23 downs. And uh, median cor 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 correlation um, for all these bars, it's 4.4%. Uh, okay, so it's cycle works, but uh, it works, yeah. Uh, the, the same story for um, uh, this, what is that, uh, annual cycle based on Georgian calendar. I guess we will get uh, practically the, sa practically the same uh, world forward efficiency. I run it. Yeah, the same, uh, 27 positive, uh, 23 negative, and average correlation, uh, 3.5, a little bit less. Okay, uh, let's check another cycles. Uh, uh, cycle based on um, Chinese calendar. Just a sec. I will click Chinese. Chi. Chi. Okay. Uh, look at this. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, let's it, it will be a, I put it uh, set it um, uh, annual cycle based on sun solar and cycle I will make bold black okay and this is Chinese calendar this is red uh, let's look compare you see red this is Chinese calendar and uh, black this is um, yeah, based on the sun position it's practically the same as a uh, Georgian calendar yeah they you see they work differently and uh, let's uh, check um, conduct a uh, walk forward analysis for um, Chinese calendar uh, 50 sample size 50 we will uh, check how it works uh, last 50 years mm -hmm. It's difficult to say because you see uh, 20 volt forward efficiency higher uh, 28 versus uh, 20 
seven, but uh, average correlation is smaller. Uh, yeah. Uh, what about uh, um, based on uh, based on um, Jewish calendar? Uh, this is uh, red. This is Jewish calendar. Okay, run world forward to efficiency. World forward analysis. Not not so good. No. 26 it's practically the same okay uh, let's analyze another calendars uh, mercury uh, sun midpoints uh, do it this way uh, put here mercury to put here sun highlight here sun and now for midpoints we need to so set this one you see uh, midpoints between mercury and uh, sun uh, use uh, this uh, option second option and this is annual cycle based on midpoint be 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 between mercury and sun and uh, walk forward efficiency for this uh, uh, annual cycle variation of annual cycle it is yeah walk forward efficiency the same uh, 27 uh, 23 but correlation a little bit less okay and next uh, cycle uh, uh, midpoint between uh, uh, venus and sun this is how it looks and uh, work for the analysis done not good 25 25 and negative cor median correlation uh, next uh, uh, mercury venus uh, Venus uh, Mercury midpoint. Okay, how it works? Not not good, not good. You see, twenty five, twenty five negative correlation. Uh, so now uh, the last thing I will know to check. This is um, uh, Mercury and uh, geocentric. So set uh, Mercury minus Mercury. It means Mercury position. And uh, you see a period of this uh, one year here, and the con uh, conduct work for the analysis. Aha! Uh -huh. You see, my friends, what I got? I got that uh, for it's significantly um, uh, annual cycle based on Mercury position, geo position, geocentric position. It works better. 30 plus 30 positive correlation uh, 20 negative correlation and uh, significantly, significantly higher median correlation you see if we will analyze uh, standard and all cycles based on sun position we'll get uh, this value you see, you see 27 23 and uh, 3 and 4.4 uh, okay you see for dow jones for some reason Annual cycle based on uh, Mercury position works better. Okay, uh, I remember that. Uh, and also, I will, I will, I wanted to check uh, Mercury, uh, Venus, 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 Venus. Don't forget, uh, you said uh, you need to set here minus. Okay, walk forward analysis. No, this is uh, Mercury, Venus, not good. So it looks like this uh, annual cycle uh, works the best. Mercury position based on Mercury position. So once again, you need to uh, choose all these three uh, to analyze uh, your financial instrument. You need to uh, calculate uh, all these eight annual cycles. Calculate uh, walk forward analysis for all this cycle, uh, all these cycles, and watch. Uh, walk forward efficiency and average correlation i show you once again uh -huh, here it is here it is a uh, walk forward analysis uh, walk forward chart for uh, mercury position geo it's we have uh, uh, 30 years posi with positive correlation and 20 years with negative 
and average median median correlation is seven uh, percent. It's good. It's good. Uh, so uh, you can conduct this analysis for any financial instrument. I highly recommend to do that. Thank you.